Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about my perspective on being cremated versus being buried. You know, um, being buried um, with a funeral service or whatnot, right? <clears throat> Basically, it's like this. I prefer, based off all of the information that I've run into thus far, I prefer to be cremated than to be buried um in the in the um in the in the traditional areas that they have us, you know, um that they put us in these graveyards, they call them. Um like like y'all saw in my community post where I had the um similarities and stuff like that. Basically, these tombstones that they make us pay for um to me they they could be perceived as receipts to let you know who's in this ground as a marker you see what I'm saying as a checkpoint this person is here here's their receipt but you know these like I said these beings they just so they so good at this um they so good at covering stuff up and making it look like one thing but it's really another thing you see what I'm saying like 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 example the cross the um Christian cross they tell us it's one thing but it's really subliminal for something else but that you know that's another story so yeah, I prefer to be cremated versus being buried, traditionally buried, <clears throat> um, mainly because of the fact that all I've been, all of the information that I've run into about like you know learning about embalming fluid, these chemicals that they blow your body up to pre to preserve your insides, and like I had in my community post, I've already assumed. Or made the claim that um, these beings basically preserve our bodies for a reason. They make us think that they're preserving it for us. But how do we know that? Like I said, how many of y'all have actually seen um, a complete burial of a casket? Like you may have seen them, them lower it down and stuff like that. But have you stayed the whole process? How come people don't stay throughout the whole process? I don't know anybody that's done that. If they have, then let me know what actually happens. Because I think that they that <clears throat> they don't bury they don't put those bodies in the ground. They take them right back up and they ship them off somewhere. That's what I think. Um you know other than that, I mean, what's the purpose of putting your body in the ground? You dressed up, you got full a full set of clothes on. Some people don't have clothes on; they just dress the top half. They'll put a suit on and and you know leave the bottom half of the body unattended. You know, they'll they'll give you a haircut. They'll put you, put makeup on you, make sure you look good in the ground and stuff like that to preserve you. And I, I wonder what's what's the ritualistic purpose of that. Cause it seems it seems ritualistic. Um, and traditionally we just go along with how the how the um tradition goes. Like nobody questions nothing. Like why why we put makeup on the dead body and stuff like that. Why we compliment how they look when they dead and all of that type of stuff. So. But yeah, um, I also think that you know cremation or cre being cremated is looked at as bad because, um, mainly because like fire is associated with the devil or Satan. That's one reason why I think people look at cre being cremated um bad. You know, your body is burning or whatever, but people forget that our body. The energy that's within the, our body is literally heat itself. That's why when they check our temperature, it's always 90-something degrees because we are the heat inside of the body. When we die, 
the heat leaves the body and it and the body starts to get cold but it's a it's a process you know it's all it's all about world views how they got how, how they got people viewing the world and stuff like that cremation and then more and then more people get buried in the ground than they get cremated so yeah it's it's very rare for people to be getting cremated um but then again i think cremation is becoming more and more um prevalent mainly because people cannot afford funerals a lot of people don't have insurance and stuff like that saved up so they just going with the with the um cremation process because it's cheaper um and they they also do they um well my city does it free if bro they're not just finna let your body just just sit just sit and um ride or whatever in the funeral home they they will do they will um they will burn the body personally and send it to you trust me i know because i've been through that situation and um but see and i and that's how i know it's a scam because they want to see if you're gonna pay that money they want to see if you're gonna pay the money and um it's just it's just like um uh, student loans or whatever or uh, or a doctor bill they going to see if you going to pay it if you do cool but if you don't you you shouldn't worry about it because they going to get the money regardless but if you pay it then they going to be like all right you see what I'm saying cuz they going to get the money regardless all businesses are covered they make it seem like they're not but all businesses associated with government they're covered they're going to always be covered because business is a part of the grid you know so that's why they work so hard to keep these businesses running and companies open and stuff like that. If one if one shut down, another one gonna open. Cause that's a part of their life that they created. So they gotta keep they gotta do all they can to keep this grid going or whatever. But yeah, I prefer to be cremated personally. But at the end of the day, people going to do what they want to do regardless. But just know this, if the system shuts down, the grid goes down, it ain't going to be no funerals. We're going to go back to nature and we're going we gonna to dispose the body however we feel fits our lifestyle or our thought process. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just think about it. Like, if... If the money system fails or the grid goes down, you you know how many people gonna be dying. That it ain't gonna be enough people to uh, arrange for funeral services. So it's gonna be a lot of bodies being burned anyway. You know, um, it just in, in my opinion, based on my thought press process right now, it's it's more about intention. We we only. We only uh, can go by what we know or what we th or what we think we know. You see what I'm saying? If one of my um loved ones was to die and I don't have access to a funeral service, I'm going to I'm going to have to um dig my own hole and bury it on the best way I I know how. That's all I can do because it's all I know. You know. Um but yeah, um, if I was in nature, cause it, when you're in nature, it ain't no, it ain't no calling no funeral service to come get the body. You gonna have to handle it by yourself. And that's another thing that that's a problem that we have. Um, because one, we we don't even, we're not even connected to each other to a point where, um, we don't have much help. Um, when it comes to dealing with the body or whatever, like you might be by yourself. So how would you handle that situation if you're by yourself and you have a dead family member? You know, cause we so divided and um, disconnected from one in, from one another. We we mainly depend on a system when it comes to dead bodies and stuff like that. <laughs> like I said before, 
in my previous um community post I said if we see a dead body first thing we gonna do or any any civilian gonna do is call 911 or the ambulance or whatever and they're gonna dispose the body within the system's um regulations but if like I said if the grid was to go down then who you gonna call and that's the problem that's um part of the problem we don't have our own system we don't have our own medical system to rely on other than nature and we don't even understand nature because we're getting far and far from it um because these beings have created an artificial um habitat for us to basically adopt and that's not natural it's move they moving us further and further away from the natural ways in my opinion <clears throat> but yeah hopefully that answer y'all question or whatever on my perception of being cremated or buried I mean, yeah, I'd rather be cremated. I think everybody should be cremated. It's all about intentions. I mean, it ain't like you're trying to burn them on some evil, sadistic intentions. You know, you just want to dispose of the body. And you don't want their body to be engulfed with all of these foreign chemicals. And, I mean, <laughs> logically, I mean... For one, what if you don't have no embalming fluid? Then what you gonna do? You see what I'm saying? Cremation is literally the first. For cremation is literally the first go, go to when it comes to handling anybody. You see what I'm saying? Cremation or, or just really you ain't got to cremate. You just put put their body in a hole. You see what I'm saying? Put their put their body in a dig a hole. Put a lay their body properly in the hole. However you fit, uh, however you feel is comfortable with your soul, with your being, and you just, you know, cover up the whole, you say your intentions or whatever, you know, your whatever words you have for the body or whatever, and, you know, it's over with. They had it in Avatar. When um one of the Avatars had died in the first film, they just put the body in a hole because Mother Nature going to take back was hers in the first place, which is the body that we rent for a temporary cycle. You know, so that's just some of my perspective on that. Um, Cause you know, when we talking about cremation, I mean, most people think I gotta go to this place. I gotta go to this location then I got to pay. But you can actually have a crema a crematory um, ceremony in your own, um, how can I say, like your own residence or whatever. But of course, that's not, um, that's not like, um, what's the word? It's not advised due to how we how they have us living. How they have us thinking. People going to be looking at you crazy. Seeing you try to burn a body. Then it, it may stink and stuff like that. You know it's a, it's a certain way. That you got to handle that process as well. You know all that. All that goes hand in hand. With the with the, how the system. how the, Like I said. Because it's a tradition. For us to be buried. You see what I'm saying. We got to break these traditions. That they got us in. And, co and come up with something new. We have to figure out a better way. Than how they've had us living. You know. You know how many caskets that, that, that these beings have to make. For every single body. Just think about that. And then half the time the people that die. They don't even. Some people die in crazy ways. Where they, they, they body be. Um, basically unrecognizable. Or. You know, splattered all over the place. You see what I'm saying? Like, people die in many ways. So, but you know, um, for the people that do have their body all together, you know how much of a process it's going to take to put everybody in a casket? 
That's too many people. That's why our body should be going back to earth, dealing with like um, like I say, the cremation process or whatever. So that's all I can say about that thus far. Um, but yeah, everybody don't have money. Or everybody's not in a certain financial situation to be able to handle a burial service. So what do you do? See the see the city, they gonna handle all of that. If you don't have nobody to 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 depend on, if you don't have no insurance, you don't have no connections, then the city gonna see what they gonna do with your body. They gonna most likely they gonna most likely give you uh put you in a box, I think. A regular box. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, they just gonna put you in a uh, regular box. They ain't gonna put you in nothing nothing fancy. They got people spending like 10000 plus on caskets. And their body don't even go to the, to the earth or whatever. But, um. Yeah. Tell me what y'all think about it cremation or, or burials cremation or burials or caskets you know how many caskets got to be made people have to make these things <laughs> and then some people some people um what i finna say some people uh, damn i forgot what i about to say the caskets. Oh, I forgot. Oh well. Oh yeah, yeah. So um some people want special made caskets and stuff like that. Which is all irrelevant. That's all man stuff. Man made stuff. So yeah, that's all I have for right now. So with that being said, I'm about to head back in the house. I'll catch y'all on the next video or post. Peace.